Center for Neuroimmunology and Neuroinfectious Diseases, or CNND for short, is a center without walls at Washington University School of Medicine. And it was the brainchild of, of Dr. Robin Klein. The Neuroimmunology and Neuroinfectious Diseases Center was started after conversations with over 35 faculty about their research in neuroimmunology and or their interest in having access to others who research neuroimmunology. And so the center was established with a core leadership group of about 10 people in 2013. So what I think is really great and what's really important about CNND is that it brings together groups of clinicians and basic scientists with a unified mission of understanding how the immune system and how autoimmunity causes and relates to neurologic disease. Lots of places have good clinicians or good basic scientists, but what's really unique about this place is that it brings those two groups together into a single room where they speak the same language for the same goal. I do think that one of the most um, wonderful aspects of Washington University is the collaborative nature that has been nurtured in the school um, for as long as I can remember. It is typical for people to be supported across departments, across divisions, and to develop alliances just like the CNND that in fact build across areas of the university. Another thing about the CNND that I really like is it's educational. It invites faculty members and students and trainees from all around to come to our yearly symposium as well as our twice a month uh, meetings that discuss all sorts of things related to the CNND's mission. A large part of our CNND membership and interdisciplinary studies include neuroimaging faculty. And what we're all doing for different diseases is to identify biomarkers using PET MRI or PET CT to determine whether we can identify early biomarkers of disease that can then be used to follow responses to treatment or as prognostic indicators of progression. And this is particularly important when it comes to the work that my lab is doing on SARS-CoV-2 and its effect on the brain. So my Pre-doctoral research was in image processing and machine learning, and I've had the great fortune of working with mentors Robin Klein, who is a neuroinfectious disease expert, as well as Joe Culver, who is an expert in optical imaging. And we've been finding very interesting alterations in the functional networks in the brain in mice with congenital Zika virus. I'm interested in developing you know, therapeutics in neurology and spent a big part of my career in uh, developing the therapeutics for uh, the neurologic complications of HIV. The thing that's attracted me to this area has been that it's been an ignored area of, of neurology. And so I think there's a great opportunity which we uh, are drawing attention to to study with modern science uh, this troublingly frequent and ignored complication. Research in my laboratory is focused on understanding the T-cell responses in various neuroinflammatory and neurodegenerative conditions like multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. We employ novel single cell technologies to identify at the single cell level what might be the T-cell phenotype with different disease status. So I use positron emission tomography and magnetic resonance imaging to study pathology in patients with multiple sclerosis. We've developed a set of tools to really image the actual pathological species within multiple sclerosis using positron emission tomography. This lets us image the actual things that are going on in the brain of patients with MS that are causing relapses, causing clinical progression, and ultimately causing the problems that MS patients come to clinic with. Our CNND is the first interdisciplinary neuroimmunology center that incorporates neuroinfectious diseases. And so our work is addressing how the normal and neuroimmune system protects the brain, and then the mechanisms that may be disrupted 
that lead to neurologic diseases. This is important because we are finding generalizable mechanisms between the effects of infections on the brain, similar to what we see in neurodegenerative diseases. The CNND has a very bright future in my opinion, uh, partly because it is growing. There are many new faculty members who have joined. It's expanding its reach in terms of not only viral diseases and autoimmune CNS diseases, but other diseases that we don't know the cause of, such as neurosarcoid, and great strides are being made in terms of understanding of diseases as well as treatments.